Now let's change some of the gameplay behavior by editing scripts. So as we round this corner, we'll see there's a number of monsters here. And as we approach the first one, he's going to detect us and come running at us. And as we engage in combat, there's an entity that spawned that's sort of that spark effect when we fight. And that's controlled by a script. Now let's edit that. Again, we'll leave the game running. And we can come in here and we can drill in on the NC models that define our player. We see actor mixes in to player, and so I'll double click to, to follow that path. And I'm looking for victim. Now a victim in the mangled metal world is anything that can take damage. And we see the victim model has two behaviors, on attacked and on death. And if we edit this on attacked script, that's going to pull up our Lua Debugger. The Lua Debugger is made to be very familiar to people who have worked with Visual Studio. It's got syntax highlighting, we can watch local variables, we can look at the call stack, we can have immediate mode execution. Here's this particular script, and here's this spawn the damage effect, which creates this new entity called damage effect. And we're going to change this to be spawn effect. And save again all while the the game is running so now let's approach the second monster he'll also detect us and so now the spawn effect is a big green flash it's sort of over the top big battle sequence but we're able to change that in real time while the game is running and again we're doing this on a PC but we could do it just as easily on a console so it's easy to make script changes there's even more we can do with the script debugger so let's toggle our debugging whoops I just turned it off let me turn it back on and let's put a breakpoint in here and so now whenever we get into this this damage mode we should pause our executable so I'm going to attach this get attacked by this last monster and the game pauses right here in the on attacked function and let's add some completely new code in here so we'll do something crazy. We're going to scale up our character by 20% every time he gets ha attacked. So we'll use some of the existing scripts in here for reference. So we're going to say the current scale is equal to the, the property self ID scale. So that's going to get the scale. And then we take that current scale and we increase it by 20%. And now, let's set that property back on our player. So, self ID. So we could also do this to um, an enemy. It'll increase it by 20%. Okay, we'll save that script change. We'll remove the breakpoint. Hit play. And now you'll see every time I get hit, I should be increasing by 20% in size. I can do that also to my enemy and he will also continue to grow. So very easy to make script changes and also to use the debugger to look at watch variables, immediate mode, call stack, lots of useful information here.